Hello. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. My name is Matt, and I'm with a band Beta State. We are at the Red Bull Studios working on a new song. Uh, we got flown out by Lincoln Park. We're the winners of the LPU Sessions competition. The song we had submitted is called When I'm Too Weak to Know. We came in, everybody heard it, we kind of realized it. It sounds great as is. Let's take a step back. I think that sounds great and improving upon that, you could, but to be honest, it already sounds really good. All of your expectations of what today would be, put those aside, start over. Just to humor me, could you go out there and just play a couple of things that you've got cooking that are in whatever rough form, or are they not there at all? I don't want you to jam from scratch necessarily. <laughs> we have recordings that we can like listen back to. Like I just, like, I made a beat in GarageBand the other day that I'm stoked on, but I don't like, I wouldn't like have thought like, hey, well, let me show the guys from Lincoln Park this cool beat I made. An example for something that came together quick. I, I literally came in with a, an, a guitar part that I played into my phone and I had a melody and I kind of really quickly wrote words, came in, played it, sang the song, and then Mike like did his thing for like 45 minutes and it was like, Boom. <laughs> Let's play this for the band. <laughs> it would be interesting, I think, for you guys to see how that process works for us and kind of how we approach something that's new. I thought we were going to be working on one of our original songs with them, but they decided that it would be more beneficial for us to start from scratch. Mike asked us, what do you guys have that you've been working on? And that cut us off guard because I was really embarrassed. It's kind of like a private thing to play your unfinished songs to somebody else but they were totally vibing on it and saying, hey, don't worry about it. These sound just as good as the demos that we do. From that, we just started tracking, saw what happened. Right now, what all we're doing is creating the most basic template for like the chord structure underneath the vocal and then when we get the vocal things will just start revealing themselves and listen out for if you like anything in particular about you know stuff like that and then point them out to us. It's been a really interesting experience of taking a different approach to songwriting. They're giving us a lot of amazing advice as far as like structure and how their songwriting comes about. They really taught us a lot of lessons how to write a song in different ways. It was nice to sit in front of a computer and just map out what we want the vocals to do first and work around that afterwards. I really appreciate that approach to songwriting as opposed to how we had done it previous to this. You come in thinking like, oh, it's Lincoln Park, but then after a while you realize they're just dudes helping you make a song, collaborating together, and people who love making music. Mike was really good about fostering like a really, really positive environment. We look up to these guys and learning the tricks and trades that they use, we can now take home with us. A big lesson that we kind of took from this is create the best song possible without any of the production. Once you have that song, then go do the production. Whether this song is good or not at the end of the day, we got to think on our feet and just vibe it out, kind of live in the moment. Working at Ripple Studios, you know, a band like Lincoln Park, just having that under your belt is a great experience. Yeah.